welcome to Kingdom Hearts Attack, where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything AI. Right. We just recently replaced this ice maker. If you guys remember, this one was all the way over there and all the way to the ceiling with two units on top. We had videos on that. We got rid of that. We took the out of space. We put it in a new bin and a new ice maker, and we're going to be making some upgrades to the drain pump, and you'll see why. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We have a nice new water cooled Hashizaki ice maker. Today we're going to be making some upgrades to the drain piping, and you guys will see why. Let's go ahead and start by turning off the power to this machine. Just took off the front panel. What a nice looking machine. Here's our control switch, and we're going to push this to the middle. Left is on, right is for the pump. Off. All right. We piped this unit the other day. It's real nice. Everything custom. Okay. So I'll just go over a couple things. Here's our power supply. Here's our water inlet for our ice production. We have a. See that right there. We have a water-cooled condenser, water source condenser. So this pipe tapping over there feeds the water that's filtered. The other line is not filtered. And that is right here, our condenser water inlet. We do have a union on there and for quick connect, you can disconnect that if needed. But the water needs to drain out. So here's our condenser out. Follow that down. That goes into the drain. Then we have the drain right here. Put on a nice vent. And that's for the ice maker itself. That also, see right there, got a little bit of water coming through. That also drains. Then we have a separate drain here with a vent. And that is our bin drain. So what happens when we need to clear out the drain and snake it? Check this out here, somebody ran a Cat5 cable <laughs> underneath the drain. Nice way to sneak your way to around things, it's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, so this is pretty packed up in here and we don't want any damage when I need to snake out this drain every now and then. You know, things get clogged up and you should, should have space to have service, to provide service. So the idea here is going to be when they want to snake this out, they're not really going to pull any of this out and we don't want anyone to damage anything. So what are we going to do? Come up with a solution. We're going to cut the pipe. Let's see what we got here. We got a union. Union. And we're going to put on a union in a few places. So we're going to cut here put in a union so if they ever need to service this all they have to do is untighten it and they can move it out of the way then for this one put it somewhere neat maybe over here put another union they can move this whole pipe out of the way and then for this one maybe somewhere in the middle we can put in another union and move it out of the way plastic holes put a little condensate line can just be moved out to the side and like this, they're gonna be able to snake out this drain when the time comes. So right now, I have to power off to the machine. The water is actually still open. Just for safety purposes, you could turn it off, but there's a water regulating valve in here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. It's right in here. That's actually keeping this closed right now because the machine is not running. So we're okay to work. And another thing is, this is still wet. See getting a little drip here and there in a few spots. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. So the beauty of technology is that we're gonna be using our press tool right there. Got the M18 Pro Press. And we can make connections even if there's water in the line. If not, we're gonna have to dump this whole bin of ice, 900 pounds of ice. I'm not really trying to get into that. So, we're gonna cut the pipes, add unions, so they can service this drain in the future. And that's the plan. Here's our union. 
and we're gonna place this in here. So we're gonna need to chop this thing up. All right. We'll start by cutting the pipe in the center over there. Get this started. That pipe is now cut. And you see this is the fitting right here. So once we press this on, we're gonna take two adjustables and undo the pipe so they can service the train. We're gonna sand down the pipe a bit and deburr the inside and the outside. So you're gonna take two adjustables, undo the pipe, and now that area is free. We're gonna do the same for each of those three pipes and like that they have a full clear space to snake out that drain when the time comes. Gonna do a little something like this. So we want it perfectly in the middle so because you need to take into account the length of pipe that goes into the fitting, we have to shave off a little bit on this side if you just want things to be a little bit perfect. If not, just drop it in just like that. But we're perfectionists here, so we want, we're gonna shave this one down just a little bit, just so we have it nice and perfectly in the middle. Push the fitting in, make sure it's good. All right, man, hit it. Okay, so it's your hand. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, now you're gonna do the same for the other side. Push it in, make sure you're good. Hold this side. All right, make sure it's even there, hit it. Beautiful. We go and then we can tighten the union. All right, we're gonna hold back on one side and tighten down the other. Go ahead. All right, let's make it nice and tight. It will be good to go. All right, we're gonna get the center point and make this thing nice. We got water coming out of there, but the beauty of the press tool is that we can make connections while it is wet not use a torch in this situation it will be a nightmare so let's find a center point and put the union on this drain now thin drain this is half inch copper and this is three quarter copper all right cut the pipe sand it deburr it as you can see we got a small drip here thank god for technology press it up. We're going to switch the head from half inch to three quarter. All right, there you go. That's built up. Go ahead, man. Let's press it up. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. Good. the tool on there again for the other side. Yep. Yep. Make sure it's bottom. Yep. Make sure it's pitched properly. That works. Alright. Hit it. Alright. Now we're gonna tighten down the union. Alright, let's tighten that up. Give it a nice Alright, that's looking good. Now, we got one more to do. All right, measure the midpoint. Now we're cutting it up. Make everything nice and good. That looks really good. All right, we got that in place there. Make sure the pipe is all the way in. Tighten that up. 
for a nice spin. We'll be good to go. Alright. That right there is a beautiful thing. So now you want to clear out this drain, move the plastic pipe out of the way, undo this union, undo this union, undo this union, and you have a full clear space to do what you gotta do. This came out real nice. When we turn the power on to the system, we're gonna go through a fill cycle. It's gonna fill up the water reservoir for 60 seconds, and whatever excess is gonna come through here. So we're gonna watch this union, make sure there's no leak. And when the compressor starts, it's gonna build up pressure, and we're gonna be dumping water out of our water source condenser. To cool it down, we're gonna make sure there's no leaks here. This thing has been dripping uh, the entire way. A little bit of condensation from the ice bin. Ice melting inside there. So looks like that one's already good. And basically we're gonna turn the power on, wash the pipes, make sure we have no leaks and we're done here. But this was a smart thing to do and it's fully functional now. All right, we're gonna put the system on on. From here, it's gonna fill up with ice. Right there, it's gonna fill for 60 seconds to the water reservoir. Let's check the other side. All right, water's overflowing from this pipe. Make sure there's no leaks here, and we're gonna be good to go. At least with that, this one is good. When the compressor starts, this pipe is gonna get hot. You hear that? Compressor started. Let's see what happens. This one's gonna start to get hot. And that's when we'll know. Just gonna make sure there's no leaks here. I wanna move that plastic hose out a little bit so it drains a little better down. Down the drain. We that one. The plastic one. But we're waiting for this one to start. As the pressure builds up in there, that water regulating valve is going to start dumping water out. Nothing on the phone. And there's just a little bit of excess water inside there. And we'll know when this one starts to dump once it heats up. You'll even hear it. Watch out, you're gonna get blasted over here. see the smoke a little bit from there and that's actually just pipe dumping. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah it's dumping. And we got no leaks. That's a beautiful thing right there. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what the piping looks like behind, uh, before the end. There was actually two units here. We had to cap off two lines over there. Functional and 
that was the purpose of today's video. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.